This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Good morning. No fancy intro today. We're just going to be doing a travel day. I haven't done one of these raw travel day videos for a long time. We're going to Ko Chang. I have never been there before, so I have no idea about the island. I don't know if Dreamy is going to be able to come on the ferry. I don't know what time the ferries run. I don't know if Dreamy can get on the ferry. I don't know very much. So yeah, just come along on this simple, hopefully, simple travel day to Ko Chang because I've heard good things about Ko Chang. Going sleeveless today. Let's see if we can get a bit of a tan. Some people say it's the best island in Thailand and I've never been, so really excited and if you have been to Koh Chang please let me know in the comments uh, give me some advice and things to do oh I've been told that there's a really good Mexican restaurant on Koh Chang as well so we're gonna try and end the video with some fish tacos and a cold beer that sounds good to me how about you <laughs> all right let's go Okay, I've come across this fishing community on the way towards the pier and I had to stop and show you this guys. Look at this bridge. <laughs> this bridge is outrageous. What is it doing? Why is it so aggressive like that? It must be just to let big fishing boats in, I suppose, but is that the optimal way to do that bridge? We have to go over this, don't we? <laughs> okay, let's go. I mean, this bit's easy. It's just concrete. Seems stable enough. It's, cool. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, it's a little bit shaky up here. Okay, up here, the metal ends and it's 100% wood. And it is shaking a little bit. It's proper shaking. Oh! Don't like that. You've got to be careful. You don't know when this was last serviced. Probably never. <laughs> I mean, the whole bridge is moving with me doing that, so I'm not going to do that again. Lovely view. They've got a mosque here. They've got a lovely path. They're waving at me. Hello, hello. Colourful fishing boats. Really nice community here. Now, I'm just trying to think, why is it this design? Do you know? Let me know in the comments. Because I thought, oh, it's because to let the fishing boats in, but just down there, there's shorter bridges than this. So I'm, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> just just laughing because it's kind of scary um yeah so i wanted to show you this little bridge and this this cool little area here in trat trat province the most southern of the eastern provinces southern eastern province right next to cambodia not too far to go now until we get to Koh chang <laughs> This is dodgy. Let's go. See this being a mangrove forest we might see mud skipper fish we might see some crabs and all kinds of things and isn't this cool look at the way the light is coming through the forest here this is the hottest part of the day lunchtime well it's nearly two o'clock now because we got off to a slow start today but this is this is awesome these are the mangroves oh i just saw a little little crab and uh yeah let's see what we can find Low tide. 
because it's all the way here at the beach. And uh, no crystal clear waters here, obviously, because it's black sand. Although I think it's more brown, brown sand beach. <laughs> And, oh, that must be Ko Chang. Oh my God, Ko Chang is massive. Ko Chang is massive. I've never seen Ko Chang before. That is, that is massive. I'm gonna rename this place Brown Sand Beach, <laughs> but uh, lovely. And we can see, we can see Ko Chang. I just, I'm so surprised. It looks massive. <laughs> Okay, we're here at the ferry terminal. I can see the ferry. Oh, we might be able to catch a ferry straight away. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much this ferry is gonna cost. Looks like the ticket count is here. I'm not sure when it leaves and I'm not sure if my bike can go on, but I'm pretty sure it will. Sorry, cap. Hello. Uh, one ticket, one mo uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> 120 baht for a motorbike and me. So according to this timetable, it leaves every hour. Okay, that's good to know. Every hour at 45 minutes past. Okay, so she sells the ticket and then the person 10 meters in front checks it. In case somehow you cheated the system. <laughs> this genius system. Hello. Okay, come. All right, there we go. Job creation. Here we are. She's telling me do a left down here. Okay, thank you. There she is. Looks like we're going with these guys. Over here, they love to do this in Thailand. If I park Dreamy anywhere, it's always 30 centimeters in the wrong place. Oh. So let's get a look at our vessel. This old rusty thing. <laughs> and there's Ko Chang. Look at it with its mountains. This is big and, and I Googled it guys. It's the third biggest island in Thailand after Phuket and Koh Samui. This is going to be a tight squeeze. The ferry's completely full. Loads of cars got left behind. And uh, luckily, I think we're okay. Right at the back. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, I'll punch in, but there's like two rows of cars that couldn't fit on the ferry. Are you excited to go to Koh Chang, Dreamy? Yeah. You went to Koh Samui, you went to Koh Mook. Where else did you go? Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? The rest of the time you've been on the mainland? Lovely jubbly. It's got a lot of character, actually. I mean, look, we can stick our head right out the window. This is lovely. And it's not far. Half an hour, maybe? Maybe less? And we're here. And this is a very different welcome to places like Samui and Pee Pee, where there's a McDonald's that greets you. Here it's, I mean, it's very different. It's very remote. There's just a fishing village over there and then it's just jungle to the left and beautiful mountains. I can't wait to explore this. Let's go on Dreamy and let's, uh, let's get on the island. So because we don't have anywhere to stay and I'm extremely hungry, we're going to solve those two problems before sunset, hopefully. So my friend Forrest Lee, he recently came here. So I sent him a text message on the ferry. I said, what, what's good? Where should I go? And he's recommended me the best... Sorry, I thought they were beeping me because I forgot something. So let's solve the hunger issue. Let's go to that Mexican restaurant. I've been told that Ko Chang is home to the best Mexican in the entire country. That's a massive shout. And I think it's this way. In fact, just here in front of the ferry port is the sign for the Mexican restaurant. 
El Barrio, traditional Mexican food, authentic Mexican restaurant, mezcal and tequila selection, signature cocktails and Latin vibes. Yes, please. So let's go that way. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Hi. I'm going to eat here, don't worry. You're going to eat here. That's a good place. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'll sit there. Over there? Do you, it's okay, I don't, I don't need a menu. Do you have fish tacos? I do, yes. Fish tacos and a margarita. And a margarita, yeah. that's very easy. Yeah. The Baja style with the butter yeah. and the taco is already done. Or a la diabla, this is with rice. And the tortillas are on the side, so this is you have to do yourself. Okay. Um, how many do you get? This is four and this is two. Mm. I'll get these ones. Okay, no problem. <laughs> if you need a new and professional website that doesn't cost a fortune to make and that you can launch by yourself, then I really recommend Squarespace. I recently just used Squarespace to relaunch my website and I love how much more professional it looks now. I just took one of their professional templates and it was really easy to set up. And in fact, when I go in to edit and update the provinces that I've traveled to, it's so easy and quick to do so. It's just so great that you can present your work using Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. You can also create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system, which is great if you want to create an engaged community around your blog page. Squarespace also makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. So head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paddy Doyle for 10% off your first order of a domain or a website. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> cheers, big ears. Oh, oh, that's got real tequila in. Lovely jubbly. And um, the fish tacos look amazing. Oh my gosh. They're quite big actually, look. They're a handful and you get four. And uh, the chipotle sauce is getting everywhere, but I'm so hungry guys. Only thing I had today was breakfast and that was like rice porridge. Mmm. <laughs> that is pure heaven. And I love those pickled onions on top. And then the cabbage and the chipotle sauce and the fish is amazing. And really nicely battered too. There is like a selection of salsas, um, which I'll try at different levels of spice on each one of these. Um, thank you to Forrest Lee for this recommendation. He said, when you go to Koh Chang, make sure you go to El Barrio. He said, it's the best Mexican in Thailand. Let me finish and I'll, I'll tell you if I think it's true. <laughs> okay. That was officially next level. <laughs> uh, and she gave me a list of hotels nearby that she says are quite good. Coral Resort, Awa Resort, KB, Lynn and Flora Italia. So um, Awa on the list, number two, is actually right down the road from here, like actually walking distance. So I'm gonna go check out that one first, but I'll take Dreaming because I'm lazy. Let's go in and ask them. <laughs> How much is it going to cost a night? This looks pretty expensive though. We'll see. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm just going to ask how much it costs first. Yes, but I don't have a booking. I just want to know... No booking. No booking. I just want to know if you have any rooms tonight. tonight. Yeah. 1,600, 300. Okay. And this room... One night. One night. Yes. With breakfast? Yes. With breakfast. Okay, 1,638 baht. Um, you know what? I can't be bothered to look at other rooms. <laughs> so maybe I'll stay here two nights. We've got room number 711. <laughs> not sponsored, guys, not sponsored. <laughs> After a long ride and being hot and sweaty and having a margarita inside me, it's made me incredibly lazy. And, you know, screw it. Look at the pool though, swanky. Another reason why I decided to get this place is because I wanted to get to the beach for sunset. I don't want to fanny around all afternoon. I'll give you a hand, mate. 
Oh, we're on the ground floor. That is a winner. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's already open. Happy days. Okay. Let's get the old lights on. Okay. It's kind of like Greece style. Thank you for your help. You've got the nice king size bed. It's a bit dark in here, that's the only thing. You know, it's a bit dingy. But that's because I think we're on the ground floor. And then there's me, hello. And then, oh, this is massive. Oh, that, okay, this is a bit fancy. But why is it so dark? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, come on, cap. Sorry about the flicker, but it, I mean, this is as bright as it gets. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, am I blown away? No. But the pool looks amazing. So let's, let's get ready for the pool. So the pool's really nice. Might go for a cheeky swim up drink as well. They've got a cocktail bar. But um, just checking out the restaurant. This looks like where we're going to get breakfast. So the pool is really nice. Um, there is a swim up bar, which has got my name written on it, but I want to show you the beach for the first time that I'm seeing it. Actually, just before we go to the beach, you see this building behind me? This is the one that I wish they put me in because you get a sea view, beautiful view, and it wouldn't be so dark and dingy. And they don't look like they're all full. Never mind. I don't know why I'm going that way. <laughs> What's this? Steak platter. Seafood platter. How much is that? Seven nine nine. Okay, happy days. I like the way they brush all the sand. Got that kind of like a Maldives kind of vibe, right? That luxury beach resort thing. And remember, this is fifty dollars a night, which is expensive, but it's not mad expensive. Check out these little seats here. You can just sit here and have dinner and have a few drinks and watch the fishermen do their thing and fancy little tables here. Oh, there's a little swing. I just knocked over a glass. Oops. Oh, I just knocked over another one. Why are there glasses on the floor? <laughs> That's really weird. Um, look, one of those romantic slightly cringy Instagram swings. Oh, okay, I can see the sand down there. So this particular resort is not actually on a beach. It's kind of on the, a rocky area. You can also kayak and paddleboard for rent for 300 baht an hour or 850 baht for the whole day. And they look pretty decent. I think I might do that. Not today, not today. Let's have a little nosy around the corner at the fancier resort. The one next door to this is triple the price. <laughs> Look, they've got an infinity pool and a beach. Although the beach is kind of trashed up with uh, seaweed. That, that looks fine, but it doesn't look triple the price of Awa. So it's not quite swim up, but it's swim toward <laughs> Swim toward beach bar or pool bar. Hello, Sawadika. Sawadika. Um, is this the cocktail menu? Yeah. We oh, have you have all of the cocktails. Happy hour is now? Yes. Oh, wow. Buy one, get one free. 300 baht. Can I order one now and one later? Yes. Because it's just me. Sit. Where you sit? Um, I will sit. I will sit over there. Uh, yeah, yes. by the pool. Yeah. Um, can I have one pina colada? Uh, and then the second one, uh, I will come back yes. before before six. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. 
And uh, don't worry, if you, th if you want to get to know more about Ko Chang, we will in the next video. This was just kind of getting to Ko Chang. And we'll get to know it properly in the next installment of Next Level Adventures. Stay healthy. See you in the next one. Oh yes. I'm glad this is two for one because this is not lasting too long.